Well, victims and their loved ones are still in disbelief after this shooting. We spoke to the few, a few of the victims' relatives. All of them are shocked and overwhelmed, and sadly, some are still dealing with heavy grief. Fox 13's Regina Gonzalez continues our coverage this morning, live from Tampa General Hospital, and we know some victims are still recovering there, Regina. Yeah, that is right. We know that a majority of them have been released from the hospital. There's still about five being treated across TGH, Bayfront, and Advent Health. And in the midst of all this, we've been able to speak to the parents of some of these victims. We were able to catch up with a mom whose daughter was shot in the leg. She's simply grateful that her daughter is alive. But one father of the 14-year-old boy killed, he is rattled, grieving, telling us that this is his second, his second second child that he has lost to gun violence. We can show you Emmett Wilson, who is now leaning on his family to help him cope with the senseless death of his 14-year-old son, Elijah. He tells us that Elijah was a good kid, a teenager who sometimes preferred hanging out with his friends over listening to his parents. El, uh, his father, Emmett, was at the scene early yesterday morning along with Elijah's aunt, and here's what they had to say. Painful, man, to see your child laying there. And, and I, it's nothing I can do but stand behind the, 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 the yellow tape. He was the life of the party, like, um, very genuine, very loyal, like, very strong-minded. Now, it's unclear right now if Elijah was involved in the fight that Tampa PD says this whole situation stemmed from. They say a 20-year-old man was also killed. He has not been identified yet. There were 16 additional victims who were taken to the hospital. 15 of them had gunshot wounds. Chief Lee Burkhaw said the majority of them, ranging in age from 18 to 27 years old, have been released from the hospital. The five victims who are still in the hospital have non-life-threatening injuries. Now, this gunfire happened as the bars were letting out for the night. In some of this video, you can see people dressed up for Halloween, running, hiding behind tables, some even leaving their shoes in the street to get away. Coming up in the next hour of Good Day, we're going to hear more from that mom I mentioned whose daughter was shot in the leg. She says her daughter was walking to her car at the end of her night when she got hit, and it was innocent bystanders that helped her and were able to save her life. The senseless violence causing so much grief. Regina Gonzalez reporting for us this morning. Thank you, Regina.